Got a little different look today. Not the same old, same all. And it's crabby today. Except for the side quest today. <laughs> Sometimes you get roped into these projects that you just don't want to do. My mom has been after me to do work at her house for years. And over the years I've done work. Um, geez, what? We've done all kinds of stuff here. I put this pat, this uh, put this walkway in years ago. Nice curved walkway. You can't see it because of the debris, the granite steps. Um, now we're doing some windows. Um, I did that chimney years ago. I stopped in and did that on Mother's Day one uh, one year. And uh, a few years ago, we built the shed out back, me and the boys, for her. And she's been after me to do these windows. So she's got four windows to do and we're just we're actually gonna do the siding in the front too over here um, so she's got these two windows we're gonna actually just uh, make them a little bit wider and then uh, on on the side there's one and then it's a bigger one over there uh, so for four windows she got a price for from a window a window company you wouldn't believe it twenty eight thousand dollars to put replacement windows in so I told her I would come over and put windows in. Um, she just had the roof done last year. And we almost did that because, you know, my mom's got this tiny little house here and they wanted $18,000 to roof it. And she finally found someone that did it for 11, which is still pretty high, but um, at least I didn't have to do it. <laughs> um, yeah, so now we're just, we're just gonna come in and put some windows here. Um, we're gonna just do new construction windows because I hate replacement windows. Um, I hate how they're just like cocked in. So I'll have to do a little bit of um, reframing. I'll, um, you know, uh, we're gonna center this window inside of whatever we do here. I think I'm gonna put a wider trim board there. So we'll center it inside of that in the doorway. Um, she doesn't know we're doing the siding yet. She just wants us to do the windows, but we're going to do the siding too. Um, yeah, so I'll have to cut the framing and, you know, new jack stud, king stud, jack stud, king stud, and a new header over the top. Um, new cripples, new cripples, uh, and insulate and stuff like that. So, I don't know. We're going to we're gonna take a couple days to do this for, and then uh, then we'll be back to the norm. There they are. Just got back from material run. Uh, got these nice uh, black. It's, they're vinyl windows, but they're they're painted black on the outside, which is all the rave right now. So I'm gonna put some black windows on. Um, I got that one out, and just holding off on tearing that one out. And we just went to look at getting a new door because we decided we're probably gonna do a new door. Um, but I can't find a door that's 32 inches wide so I might end up reframing that and putting a 36 inch door on that a black one to match the windows um, this one all the, I've cut all that old wood siding off to expose the framing and I'm I'm probably gonna be able to use that framing on that side and leave it um, and then I'm gonna move this side over um, so I'll have to get my saws on cut that stuff out um, and just shift everything over. You see it's just a two by header up there. Um, and, you know, it's uh, it might be okay just like that, but I got I got a board to put up a, a real header up there. So I'll probably just, I'll just reframe that whole thing and get this window in. Sun's so bright. All right, we got one window, one door on, and uh, insulated, and we're getting that that green insulation board on that half inch insulation on the outside. Um, we're zip taping all the seams on it. Uh, this window, we're just getting ready to frame in. Lynn is just cutting. Um, she cut my header for the top. 
I got my uh, my king stud, my two jack studs. Uh, just get ready to nail them into place. Um, and get this window to pop in and after that we got this green board to put on well we'll, we'll have to insulate put the green board on and then we're uh then we're gonna start siding this thing working on these older houses is pretty challenging um look at my i this is a, a plumb line and i cut it to cut out the window but look at what this see the brown stud in there look at that stud the whole way up see how the studs are just way out of plumb that's just something we have to work with on a on an older house you know i didn't really notice how out of plumb it was until i started framing it so i actually just spread my opening a little bit um these ones don't matter much so i just you know they're cut a little short but that's not a big deal it's just the window sits on top of that um yeah so if if i didn't notice that and i just and i just put my stud in i, I might not have enough room for that rough opening on the window um, so now that I opened it up and and this one is almost plumb it, it should I should have enough wiggle room to fit my window in um, but that's it yeah so we're now we're, we're cutting insulation for here uh, the plywood and I just have to go put on these couple cripples at the top sorry right in the sunlight uh, some cripples at the top some insulation and we'll be ready to uh, you know get the plywood on Get this uh, green uh, insulation on and we're going to be siding pretty soon. There she is, all framed up, all flashed up, windows are in, doors in, now we're ready to start on this vinyl siding. Going one pretty smooth. Okay, so I'm nearing the end on the front here. Um, you know, if just when you forget that you shouldn't work for family, this is a great reminder why you don't work for family. Um, I just came here to do four windows, and instead I'm redoing the whole front and the vinyl siding, and I gotta move the step and move the step back, and and now we're on to storm doors. Um, and so we got one for here and since we're doing one here we might as well do one on the back at the same time uh it just you know it never ends so um yeah you know i think it's looking pretty good i put these wide corner boards on for the corners i think i like the look a little better um it might not you know it might not be perfect but it looks good um I think it's pretty important to be well-rounded in the construction field. Um, I think it helps you out in every aspect of, um, you know, what you're doing, like what your specialty is. When you when you branch out, you learn more. Um, and I've done pretty much every type of general construction there is. I feel like I'm pretty well-rounded. Um, I can handle myself around most things. So uh, doing this stuff once in a while, it's actually, it's not bad. It's actually easy work. Um, just, you know, a little, little time consuming working by yourself. Um, Landon's not here. He's gambling like a degenerate over in Vegas. So he's gone for this week and I'll be wrapping it up myself. But this is where we are. I'm going to get ready to put some storm doors on um, and try to get out of here soon. All right, we're working on the last window here. It's the last of it. Um, well, on the outside anyway. Just have to reframe this opening a bit and got the new window in the back of the truck. Another piece of vinyl siding to stitch this all back in. Uh, dryer vent with the J channel on it and I'm gonna try to fix some of this mess, but I don't know how much I can. Got the windows the storm door, see the regular door back there, maybe. Not through the reflection, regular door. And we ended up putting a slider in over here. And that's the slider, nice big slider. 
Um, yeah, so, I, you know, we're done the outside, and I'll come back some other time. I gotta, I gotta build all the extension jams and do the trim and stuff, but uh, we're just gonna put this window in, get the siding on, and then we're gonna get back to our regular jobs.